geometric symbols, angles. It's important to understand the different symbols that are associated with geometry so that when you're asked a question, you know what you're being asked and you also know how to answer. In this video, we're going to talk about the different symbols that are associated with angles specifically. So here we have two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle DEF. We're going to answer the following three questions and we'll talk about what the symbols mean as we go. The first one is name the angles in triangle ABC. There are a couple of different ways to name angles. One way is to use the angle symbol and just the letter of the vertex of the angle. So we would call this angle, angle A, since A is the vertex. This angle would be called angle B. So we use the angle symbol and the letter for the vertex. The last angle would be angle C. Again, this is the angle symbol and you name it by its vertex. The other way to name angles would be to use the three letters for the angle. So angle A could be called angle B, A, C. Notice that the vertex is in the center of the name and we still use that angle symbol to name it. It looks very similar to the less than sign, but the bottom is straight. To name angle B, we could also name it angle ABC or angle CBA, as long as that B stays in the middle. And then angle C can be called angle BCA or angle ACB. Again, that vertex needs to be the middle letter. So we start with our angle symbol, angle ACB. So there are two different ways to name angles, all using the angle symbol. Next, we need to name the congruent angles in triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Congruent means the same or equal, exactly the same. And congruent angles are marked for you sometimes on pictures. And the way you'll know which angles are congruent is because they'll be marked in the same way. So since angle A and angle D have the same mark on them, that means that angle A is congruent to angle D. We used our angle symbols again, and this sign in the middle means congruent. It's an equal sign with a little squiggly on top. Angle B is marked similarly to angle E, and we're going to talk about this symbol in just a minute. Angle B is congruent to angle E. Finally, angles C and F are marked the same way. They both have these two marks on the angle, so that means that they are congruent to each other. Angle C is congruent to angle F. Now this last question says, what is the measure of angle B? This M stands for measure. And so when you see the M, that means they want the degree. How many degrees are in the angle? What's the measure of the angle? Angle B, even though there isn't a number there, this box means that angle B measures to be 90 degrees. So the measure of angle B equals 90. And the measure of angle E would also be 90 degrees. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.